Hello and welcome to my channel once again. Today I will solve one problem from Fourier series and here is our problem today. We have to prove that x square is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 times summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n minus 1 whole to the power n cos a cos nx by n square for this limit. So we know that uh, uh, function fx can be written as like this. We know this here uh, fx is equal to x square which is uh, which is an even function now we can see that x square cos nx is also an even function however however x square sin of nx would be an uh, odd function therefore we will have to perform this integration only and we have to found the coefficients of uh, a n uh, we have to find a n only uh, and we do not require to find b n because this integration if we find the integration in this interval then it would produce 0. So you can understand what I mean to say that a n uh, will be minus pi to pi x square cos of nx dx. We have to find this integration. However, bn which is equal to minus pi to pi x square sin of nx dx, this will be 0 because the product of an even function and an odd function in this uh, criteria will produce 0. So you have understood. So let's remove it for now. Well, now let's find a zero. A zero will be one by pi of minus pi to pi x. Uh, our function is x square. dx yeah x square is our function so that will produce x cube by 3 and this is the limit so i can write 1 by pi pi cube by 3 minus of minus pi cube by 3 which will ultimately produce 2 pi cube by 3 that is pi square 2 pi square by 3. Fine. Now let's find a n which is equal to 1 by pi minus pi to pi x square cos of n x dx. So that is equal to uh, let's keep this and this is also uh, integration by parts and we have to follow that Liet protocol. So Liet means uh, log indices, algebra, trigonometry and exponential. We have here this A algebraic functions and uh, uh, sorry uh, we have this trigonometric function. So first of all we take this out of the integration and integration of cos nx will produce sin nx by n. 
now let's put the negative sign because you can remember uv technique is uv dx minus u dash v dx you can remember that so i have done this now the second part uh, again i have to perform the derivative of x square which will produce 2x and integration of cos nx which is producing uh, sin of nx by n dx here i am writing the limits equal to 1 by pi of x square sin of nx by n minus twice of um, x sin uh, 2 by n let's put here uh, x sin nx dx so let's do it again x square sin of nx by n minus 2 by n let's put one second bracket here and it will come out of the integration and sin nx after integration will produce minus of cos nx by n and there will be again integration so this time u will be x and derivative will produce 1 so i can write this and uh, the integration of uh, sin nx will produce minus of cos nx by n dx Mm, minus x cos of nx by n and uh, that will produce you can write here cos of uh, sorry sine of nx by n square hope i am right use the limits and you can see that sin nx this will give 0 uh, under x equal to pi and minus pi so i am writing here 0 and uh, this is all uh, this will also produce 0 so i am, i am getting only so 2 n square uh, let write cos of n pi minus of cos of uh, there and there will be one pi from this x and there will be that pi that's cos n pi i have got that and um, so by pi twice 2 pi by n square to 2 cos of n pi that is producing uh, four, four times n square cos of n pi and that is actually 4 y n square minus 1 to the power n as cos n pi is minus 1 to the power n and we have uh, we know that we know uh, that b n equal to minus pi to pi x square sine of nx dx will be 0 as x square is an even function and sin x sin nx is an uh, odd function this is odd and this is even and the product of an even and odd functions and the, uh, will produce 0 if we integrate in this way that is minus pi to plus pi and then it will produce 0 you can check it so we have actually x square is equal to we got 2 pi square by 3 here you can see a0 so a0 by 2 will be pi square by 3 and this is uh, 4 and i can write that summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 
minus 1 to the power n cos of nx by n square yeah i think we, uh, we were supposed to prove this one let's check what we were supposed to prove we are supposed to prove that x square is equal to this and uh, i hope we have uh, successfully proved this so let's see yeah we have proved this thing